One, two. Double jab right here. This is not a boxer gym. Pivot. The boxing is just one aspect of getting the kid to talk to you. You back? You ready? One, two. Books before boxing. That's our motto. Downtown Boxing Gym is an out-of-school time program that uses boxing as the hook to get kids in the door, but our focus is around education, mentorship, and resource opportunity. I started a program because I saw a need for it in our community. Growing up, I couldn't read or write, and people would constantly tell me, you're gonna be dead or in jail before you're 21. Back slip over here. It didn't have to be that way. I was able to change my path, and so I wanted to share that with the young people in my neighborhood. Double jab right here. We go really deep with our kids to close the gap in all ways. This program is completely free. We provide everything they need, transportation, dinner and snacks during the school year and during the summer. And then we support them through college, trade school, into job placement. We have literacy intervention, math intervention. We have a recording studio. It is really hyper-individualized to make sure every kid has the tools and resources they need to be successful. The growth over the last 15 years has been pretty remarkable. When Cali first started, it was just himself with a couple of volunteers over time, and now we have just over 40 employees. Our budget now is over $4 million a year. We had bounced from bank to bank trying to find the right support. Chase for Business has been the only bank that really listened to what we needed, has always been improving the resources that the bank provides, is always really responsive when random things come up and we need help. Like at every nonprofit, you know, you're a janitor and fundraiser and you're all the things. So Chase for Business has helped us grow because it almost stood in the place of having to hire additional team members internally. Anything that helps save time and give us peace of mind is something we appreciate very much. So help the people out next to you. Everybody, let's come on. Let's come inside right quick. We got a 100% graduation rate, but that's just one leg of the journey. We still can't let our guards down. We got to keep working. If you have a community that's uh, lacking resources, lacking education, you know, you're going to get a poverty situation. And so we got to change that course and make sure that everybody's educated, everybody had the resources that they need and opportunities. I see a lot of myself in them. They're at a place where I was, but they're going beyond where I've been.